Tonight we're learning more about the deadly explosion at a border crossing in Niagara Falls, New York. That state's governor tonight says there is no evidence of terrorism. Two people inside the vehicle were killed. A Customs and Border Protection officer at the Rainbow Bridge was hurt. Governor Kathy Hochul says she's been in close contact with the FBI and the White House. For now, that bridge is closed. Uh, certainly a chaotic scene. Let's listen to what a witness saw today. He was flying over 100 miles an hour. There was a car in front of him. He swerved out, went in front of the car, hit the fence, went flying up into the air. He hit, I think there was an elevation part. He went up into the air and we just seen the fireball and that's all we could see. It was just covered in smoke everywhere. Now the Amtrak uh, crossing there at that particular border bridge uh, also was blocked. They suspended service and the three other border crossings in western New York were also closed most of the day.